Oh, good morning, everybody. There we go, just a little down. There we go. All right, we can start with the, let's please just start with the feet apart and do a little bit of a sway from side to side. Feel the weight shifting from hip to hip. And your elbows are pressing back. You're just opening through the chest. And then take an in-breath and now just plant and gaze up, open the chest, press the elbows back and inhale and tuck your chin. We have the hands lifting back, just shoehorn up with the heel of the hands as the elbows press back and the breath is full. Great. And then you can interlace the fingers. Now slide the shoulder blades down and once again, take an in-breath and then exhale and tuck the chin in as you're pressing the shoulder blades down and press the feet into the floor to anchor and to feel yourself grounded through your feet. And then just release the arms. Great, now we'll step right to the front of the mat, come into our first sun salutation. Have the feet together and then we'll start. Take the hands right into the heart, press the shoulder blades back, pull up through all the toes, spread the toes, and then press down through the base of the toes. Shoulder blades are back, and let's begin. Breathe in, bring the arms up overhead, gazing at the palms. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Breathe in, come halfway up, that first one's a doozy. And then exhale, fold, plant the hands, jump or step the legs back. Come into your best version of side plank, if you need to bend the underside knee. And then rotate to the other side, breath, lift, chest open and back to your center. Now we'll bend the knees, keep the toes tucked under, and then scoop the pubic bone forward to come into your sphinx with the toes pointed. Now have the hands just even with the chest today. So you're gonna do more of a scoop up and press the tops of the feet down for one more extra breath. And then on the exhale, we're gonna child's pose the hips back, keep the palms forward and release the forehead to the floor. Go right into your breathing. Keep the palms reaching. And one more breath. Spread the fingers as you palm the mat out there. Okay, good. Now just come on up onto the knees for a moment and then take the palms forward just about a centimeter, just a tiny, tiny bit. And then exhale and child's pose again. So feel how you've got the backs of the arms extended out and then slide your shoulder blades actively down, pull them down, shrug them back while you get the stretch through the backs of the arms. And this can really help to stretch the triceps that we did a lot of work on yesterday in the yoga strength to get the backs of the arms and the backs of the shoulders. And one more breath as you pull the bum back. Now draw up, taking the hands right underneath the shoulders. Take an in-breath, tuck the toes under, and then exhale and rise, pressing the bum bones up as you let the head dangle and the heels drop. Keep the inner thighs moving back as the shoulder blades slide down. Take in two more breaths in Downward Dog. And again, the inner thighs moving back, pressing the heels down if they can. And then on your next in breath, come up onto the tiptoes, jump or step the feet to the hands, come on halfway up, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, scoop the arms up, lift, palms together, and then exhale to center. And inhale, gazing up, open the chest. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Breathe in, come halfway up, chest touch. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the hands, jump or step the legs back. Rotate into your side plank, again, best version. Extra breath as you take the arm over and in line with the ear, get a good length. And then reach that arm around. Come on over to the other side. Breath in, opening chest, extra breath. Lengthen and reach. 
and then you can windmill that arm around, come back. And now come on into your plank, we'll stay there and keep the heels reaching back. Keep the core solid, now slide the shoulders down. And if this is a bit too much on the um, wrist, please come down onto the elbows. So you're keeping your lift of your rib cage. And then to everybody taking the feet to the outside edge, keep the heels reaching back, keep the inner thighs active as you send the heels back. Now step the feet together really straight, reaching the heels out. Good. And now take the legs to the outside again, really straight legs. So keep the heels reaching out, the shoulders are down. Keep the heels reaching out, legs active. And then once again, come together. Now we bend the knees, keep the toes tucked under. Scoop forward with the pubic bone. Hands are in line with the chest. Press the heels of the hands down. Take an in-breath. Press the tops of the feet down. One more breath. Keeping the elbows back, palms pressing. And then on your exhale, child pose the bum back. And then come back right up onto all fours. Take the knees forward, tuck the toes under, downward dog, and exhale to rise. Head dangles. Keeping the inner thighs pulling up and back. Now bend the left knee in and press the right heel down as you breathe. Breath. Excellent. And then other leg. Press that left heel down. Bend the right knee in. Breath. Breath. Good. And then coming back to the middle, press both heels back. Pull the bum bones back. Get a long line from the top of the head right through to the tailbone. Pyramiding up. And then you can gaze up, tiptoes. Jump or step the feet to the hands. Come on, halfway up. Exhale, fold. And now inhale, breathe the arms up, bring the palms together, and then exhale to center. And then again, inhale, gazing up, open through the chest. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Breathe in, touch at the shins, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, jumpers, step the legs back. Rotate into your side plank. We'll take three breaths here. First, you're coming up and tall, and then you inhale, sorry, exhale. Then you inhale, take that arm back, opening through the chest, keep the rib cage lifted, ribs in, and then over and lengthen. Reach out through that arm, get a good reach with the fingers, and then windmill that arm around. Come on over to the other side, press that left foot down, open through the chest, and then a little further, coming back, open, open. And then take the arm in line with the ear, get a beautiful reach from the side of the waist. And then windmill that arm around. Come on back so you're coming into the heels, reaching out. And from your plank, dunk your right knee down with the shoulder blades reaching back and then straighten the leg. And left leg down and straighten. And right and straighten. And left and straighten. Two more. And right, straighten left and straighten now step the feet together roll to the outside edge of the right foot of course this can be done from your elbows as well come on to the other side really listen to the wrists and over the other side two more coming over to the right keep the rib cage in and then over to the left breath now centering bend your knees once again scoop the pubic bone forward and then everybody take the hands forward so the thumbs are even with your shoulders Press the elbows down, sphinx up, and press the tops of the feet down. Keep the pubic bone pressing as you breathe. And one more breath. Lovely, and then you can bend the knees in. Take the hands into tabletop. Tuck the toes under, take an in-breath. Arc the back as you exhale and rise. Now we'll take the left leg straight up in the air. Reach up, three-legged dog. Come on to the ball of that right foot. Reach that heel up. That's it. Just a strong reach with the heel. Lengthening through the back of the right leg. And then come on down. Now take the right leg up. Lift, extend out through that heel. Come up on the toes of the left foot. Get that right leg long. And then take the right leg down. One more time, left leg. Lifting, come up on the toes of the right foot. Reach that left leg out long and strong through the leg. 
and then down and right leg lift extend pulling up from the thigh reaching and then come down we're going to bend the knees into child's pose now take both arms over to the left and exhale the right waist back as you release the weight of the head down keep the palms reaching out stay with your deep breath 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 good and then draw to the middle and across and over to the right palm in the floor out there release the weight of the forehead breath keep on pulling in through the core excellent and then we come back to the center once again take the hands underneath the shoulders take an inhale arc the back exhale rise into your downward dog in the position bend the knees come up onto the balls of the feet and stick the hamstrings up higher so the top of the hamstrings buttocks come really lifted and then gaze up shift forward up onto the tips of the toes the legs straighten and then step the feet forward to the hands come on halfway up get a good reach out there exhale fold and now inhale breathe the arms up bring the palms together and then you can exhale the hands to center and again inhale gazing up open the rib cage exhale fold forward forward bend breathe in come halfway up flat back exhale fold forward plant the hands jump or step the legs back rotating to your left side plank again three breaths here take a big in breath exhaling and then come back a little further with the arm opening past the midline and then draw the arm in line with the ear get a good reach out lift the underside waist and then you can windmill that arm back come on to the other side take a big in breath open the chest a little further back a little further back get the wrist out and then take the arm in line with the ear once again lift through the underside of the waist and then windmill that arm back okay we're going to stay in all fours position and take the left leg straight out press through that heel and press it out take both palms forward six inches and then press that heel back get a good good stretch through the calf now come on to the outside baby toe and then press the heel out again we're going to take a little bit of a stretch into the hip press the outside foot down it might slide back a bit to get a little bit more uh, length and then drop and tip your left rib cage and lift through the chin so you can open up through that left side and then come on back to the center okay, I was just trying that out um, so let's try it again on that right side press the heel out now take the palms forward about six inches if your arms didn't move and press that heel back press and press get into the calf and now rotate to the outside baby toe side and drop drip that right hip down pull up from the torso pulling up and off the right waist as you drop the right hip and then you can come right back to your center take the knees together take the hands under take an in breath gaze up arc the back exhale and rise into your downward dog keep the bum bones lifting now we'll take the left leg up and then bend that heel in and circle the knee out as you open through that thigh come on the toes of the right foot and then extend that left leg up and come down right leg reach bend the heel in circle the knee out breath and then extend that leg out reach calming down beautiful center for a moment and now gazing up tiptoes jump or step the feet to the hands come on halfway up flat back exhale fold forward and then inhale scoop up lift open through the rib cage pressing the palms together and then you can exhale and release okay wonderful now we're going to take the left heel back and take the right foot over to the right a little take the hands inhale lift the chest and then exhale and bring the body right over that right knee send the wrists up 
gazing towards the big toe as you send the wrist over the back leg is active. Reach that left heel back. Good. Two more breaths as you send the wrists out. Keep on staying with the reach of the wrist. Good. Now you lift the chin and then take the hands back. Take your left hand down, turn to the right and press that right, that left heel rather back. Get a good rotation there. Stay with your breathing. And then you can come down. Take that right hand down, take the left hand wide, step the right leg back, big breath. Inhale, take the left leg forward. And now lift, reaching that right heel back. Lift, open through the chest, extend the arms, send the wrists out, opening and lift the chin, and then exhale and extend out over that left leg. Keep the wrists reaching out as you gaze to the big toe. The back leg strong. Get your reach breath, breath, one more breath, keep that back leg strong, reaching, okay, excellent, now you can take that right hand down, turn to your left as your front left knee directs forward, keep the rib cage coming in, keep the chin in, reaching out through the top of the head, and then you can take that left hand down, take the left hand on the inside, Lift and press your heel back. Now we're going to turn to your right, press the right heel down. Keep the left hand on the inside of that left foot. Turn to your right and the back leg is straight as you turn and draw your top hip back. And you open through the side waist. Keep the shoulder back. Keep pushing into the floor as you open. Breath. And then you can take that hand down. Now we're going to turn and face the front again. Keep the back heel reaching back, lift through the rib cage, pulling up so you can get that stretch through the front right quad. And then we take that left hand on the outside. You can come up and get the elbow over and then change legs. Take, step that right foot forward. Now press the right hand on the inside. Press that back left heel down. Turn to your left. Keep the front right knee bent. Draw the left waist back, the shoulders back. As you're turning to gaze to the ceiling, keep your chin in. So the top of the head can reach out, the back of the neck is long. And keep that front right knee bent. Press into that back left heel. Good, draw the left waist back as you do. And then you can take that left hand down, turn and face, come into your lunge action. So you're gonna press that heel back. Shoulders are back. Press through the heels. Stay with your breathing. Okay, now take the right hand on the inside and then step that left leg forward and come with the feet together, balls of the feet together. Inhale, extend the arms up, coming right up into Utkatasana. Let your hips sit back as the shoulders slide down and you keep the knees kissing as the hips sit back. Keep pulling in from the core as the arms extend. Breath. This is often called fire pose because ultimately when you're really in the pose, you'll really get into the quads. So this is like yoga wall sit. And you keep the pinkies pressing together as the shoulders slide down. And breath, four more breaths. Keep the hips sitting back. Notice if they can sit back more as you keep the knees pressing together. As you keep the shoulders down, breath, one more breath, keeping the palms pressing, breath, breath, and then you can exhale to straighten. Lovely, now we'll take your left leg out, well done, and grab onto the ball of the foot or the base of the toes, and then you can extend the arm up. Now press that left knee down towards the floor as the elbow draws back. And just see if you can have that sense of ascending right up from your belly button. So you get that really good lift. And as you press down into the floor, really extend down through that standing leg and pull up from here so you can get that rise with the breathing, keeping that elbow pressing back. Good. 
and get the elbow further back. So you're opening in through the shoulder and then you can gently release that leg. Good, so coming right to the other side, press the elbow back, open through the chest, but keep the shoulder dropped. Lengthen, keep the rib cage in. Press that left knee down. Press into the standing foot as you open the chest and breathe. Shoulder is back. Good, sorry, I'm just checking my gallery here. Okay, great. And keeping that anchoring right through the standing leg as you breathe and rise and breath. Okay, lovely. Now we're going to come back and take the right ang uh, the left ankle and take it just above your knee as you press the uh, ankle right into the, into the thigh so you can get that pressure. And then you fold forward from the waist. And if you need to hold on to the wall, I'm not able to look at, the, at you guys at the camera. So if you look forward and then fold forward from your waist, you can bend your standing leg. Now here you can hold on to the knee, the shin, or you can fold forward, it's actually easier. And you draw down to the floor and then you fold forward and let your head dangle. Keep the right, that left knee rather rotating out so you open through your hip. And stay with your breath. Breath. Excellent. And then you can breathe in, lift. Come all the way back up. And then you can gently release. And always feel free to have your bum against the wall because I will give you that anchoredness to focus on the balance. And you keep, then bring that right ankle up, drawing up, and you guys go ahead, press that ankle, fold forward, lifting forward. I keep that knee rotating out, remembering this version as well. So again, the bum can be against the wall or the fridge or something. I doubt you're in the kitchen. And then just folding forward. Pull up through the core to stabilize in through the low back. And breath. Good. And then on the next inhale, lift. Come all the way back up, lifting from the rib cage, and then you can just let that heel come down. We'll come right into tree pose. Let's take the right heel, left heel up, and press into the foot, and then you can take your hands to center. And keep your rib cage back. Keep pressing the foot into the thigh to get that turn, and then with your centeredness. You could steeple up, but just see what is your best way to feel length. And just pressing down into that standing leg. Breath. And then you can gently release and come down. Come on to the other side. Press the foot. That's the isometric that helps you stay glued. Stay with your breathing. Keep dropping into that standing leg. Breath. Breath. Ascending from the belly button. And then you can gently let the whole body release, come on down into standing position. Good, from here, let's take the right foot forward, the left heel turned out, and then taking the left thumb down, take the left arm around, hand to hand, clasp, and then breathe in and extend out over into your triangle as you keep that left hip back. Keep your chin in as you reach out right from the top of the head back top left shoulder elbow is back. You're gazing to the ceiling, but the chin is in, so the top of the head reaches out. And then you can take that right hand down to wherever you land and take that left arm up. 
open from the chest with that top uh, left waist coming back. Breath. Keep the chin in as you draw the left hip back. Breath. Breath. And now you can gaze down. Breathe and lift. Come all the way back up. Turn the right toes out. Turn the left toes to the front. Just draw the rib cage back. Turn the right thumb down. Take that right hand across. Interlacing. Breathe in. Lift as you exhale over and keep that right hip back and keep pulling up from that left thigh. Reaching out with the crown of the head but the chin is in. And then you might take that left hand down, draw the right shoulder back. And the key is to pull the waist back. There's very, this hand, there's really not any weight, it's really more you're pulling your waist back. This is to orient your body, to square your shoulders. But see if you can really not have too much hand on, weight on that left hand. And then keep on pulling that right shoulder back to open the rib cage. Okay, lovely. Breathe in. Draw all the way back up. We'll rotate to the front. Now step the left foot over six inches, right foot over two inches. You're square to the front. Take the right hand onto the low back. Inhale, gaze up, lift the left arm. Exhale, coming into revolved triangle. Left hand on the outside of the right foot. And if that's too much for balance, take the left hand just in front of the right foot as you turn and rotate. And you might be I'm demonstrating on fingers. Some people, Jill uses a block. You can always do that. Um, whatever is the best way for you to get a turn. So you can really rotate. And then you can come down. Breathe in, lift. Windmill that arm around. Come all the way to the other side. You're squared. Take that right hand across, taking the left hand up, open, pushing into the floor, getting that rotation. Stay with your breathing. Breath. Breath. Beautiful. And then coming down, windmill the arm around. We'll come back to the front and then pressing the hands together in prayer position. Now we'll take your left leg back, come into a nice wide stance with the back left heel, just turned all the way out. Um, so you're on a nice diagonal. The front right knee preparing for warrior to draw that right knee forward and then open. Gaze just beyond the middle fingers and draw that left shoulder blade back. Shoulders are down, just gazing ahead. Keep the chest open. Now you can come down onto the inside of that right foot. Take the left arm up, turn and gaze to the ceiling with the chin coming in. Keep the shoulder blade back as you open your chest. Breath, one more breath. Beautiful. Now stay down to that side and take both hands on the inside of the foot and reach your nose down towards your toes. And you want to just reach out as much as you can as you bend the elbows. Keep that back left heel anchoring. Good, bending forward, squeezing into the gut, into the belly. And then you can breathe in and we're gonna come right back up. Open through the chest, draw that shoulder back. Keep the front right knee bent as you keep drawing the top uh, waist back. Breath, breath opening. And then you can take that arm down. Now we're going to gaze up, take the hands to that right knee to lift, draw yourself back up, turn the right heel out, turn the left toes back, open, gazing beyond the middle finger. Draw the right shoulder blade back. Have this leg at a, at a right angle as you draw the right hip back. Keep on rising from the crown of the head as you open. Breath. And then tip. Coming down. Take that left hand on the inside. Keep your chin in. Draw that top shoulder back. 
Back leg is active. Great, keep that left knee uh, straight forward. Try not to let it pull in. So you keep the inner thigh stretching. One more breath, reaching that arm. Breath, great, and now come on down. Now bending through the elbows, if there is any, and then you reach out from the chin as you're folding forward, your back foot is anchoring. Keep on breathing steadily. Breath, breath. And then you can breathe in, rise, come all the way back up. Lift, open through the chest. Draw that right hip back. Excellent. Lifting, breath, breath. Okay, now you're gonna walk the hands into the middle and then turn the feet parallel. Take the hands right down under the shoulders. Pressing into the palms, breathe in, lift. And then you can exhale and you're gonna fold forward as much as you can. So what I'm doing is I'm coming down onto the elbows and pressing the palms down. Let your head fall and dangle and pull up strongly from the inner thighs. And as I show you the length of the back from the side, I'm attempting to, um, you know, really pull the bum bones up. So it's not like this, it's not rounding, but you wanna really pull up from the inner thighs. That will help to get the bum tailbone high and then you can get that length in your low back. And take a couple more breaths here. And one more breath. Excellent. And then you can breathe in, come back up. Now take the left hand just under the nose. Press into that left hand and turn to your right, pulling up from the thighs as you lift. And then you can switch, press that right hand down. Breathe in, lift. Open through the chest. Keep on pulling up from the thighs. And then you take that hand down. Now, once again, we turn the right toes forward. You take the right hand in. We're going to repeat this one. That you take the right hand on the inside. Keep the front right knee bent. But I want you to take the thumb back and um, tuck the hand under somewhere. It doesn't matter where it goes. And you turn and you face the front. <laughs> you face the ceiling. Your front uh, right knee stays bent. Get as much of a turn as you could. So you're really open there. Okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna take this to the other side. Turn the right foot in, turn the left toes to face front. Left hand on the inside, take the right arm up, turn the thumb down, take that hand around, press the elbow back, turn, looking up at the chin in, and keep that back leg anchoring down as you rise and open the chest and lift. Breath. Breath. And now you can take that hand down. And once again, we're going to turn the feet parallel. And now take the hands in front and walk the feet out about another foot, if you could. And then take the hands to the middle so they're right under your shoulders. And then take the feet wider and or stay where you are. We're just going to work on um, keeping that width that you're reaching the heels out as wide as you can. And then you can walk your hands back, just about six inches. And then you walk, see if you can go a little bit wider with the feet. And you keep on breathing and praying and just reaching, I'm just kidding. And then just gently come on down. And if you can get your bum just onto the mat so that you're nice and comfortable. Now just take the toes, pull them back as you reach out through the heels. <clears throat> Pardon me, and just keep a, a really strong uh, lift from your low back. Okay, now from here, let's um, press the hands behind and you can grab onto the elbows. And if that's a piece of cake, just grab on to the hands or press the palms together. Come right into your prayer position. Now take an inhale up with the eyes and then exhale and bend over to the right side. Keep both elbows pressing down as you keep the heels reaching out. Get a good reach out from the side waist 
and then do a little bounce out of that side. Really lift, breath, breath, and then inhale, come up, and now exhale over. Keep the elbows back. Keep on reaching out from the top of the head as the elbows are back. Breath, breath, good. And then you can breathe in, come all the way back up. Okay, wonderful. Now, see if you can come further forward. So you can take your arms just reaching out, but do keep the toes actively pulling and then fold forward from your waist. And then find if there's any place you can either be in the middle as we are, or notice if there's any place that it helps to get deeper into the groins. You might um, press into the elbows and push yourself out with your chest bone. Do try, technically, you want to not have the knees roll in, so see if you can assist this rotation out by pulling the baby toe side back, keeping the, the ball of the foot back to try to, to not roll in and come over from side to side. Keep on breathing steadily. And then come on to your middle and you can gently draw the legs in. And now from here, just if you need to blow your nose, please do, because I know it can be a little bit nasty to try and um, do your breath of joy without clear nostrils. So we will come right into kneeling position or legs in front and bend or cross-legged. Now you're getting right into the middle so you feel your body evenly dropped open through the chest. Start by taking the hands behind, come into prayer position or hands to elbows. Take an inhale, lift the chest breath. Now exhale, tuck the chin as a counter stretch and really tuck in tight before we come into breath of joy to open the shoulders. And take in three deep breaths. Okay, wonderful. And now we'll take the hands to prepare. And 27 pumps, three regular breaths in between. Here we go. And then just let your hands relax. Three regular breaths. Again, keeping the rib cage lifted. Stay nice and open through the shoulders, little nose, and keep the um, weight just evenly distributed through your feet. And one more regular breath. Good, and here we go, breathing in. Three breaths. One more full breath. Beautiful, and here we go, breathing in. Three regular breaths, letting your body tall, be tall. Keep the rib cage rising, the shoulders back. Okay, lovely. Now let's uh, tip over to your left side and we'll take the right leg in front. 
take the left foot right to the inside of the right foot and then take an in breath lift the rib cage open the chest and then exhale and extend over so the poses that we do are mainly borrowed from ashtanga yoga ashtanga yoga is an eight limbed path of discipline um, one of them for example is uh, ahimsa ahimsa is loving kindness and you practice ashtanga yoga with a sense of of kindness to your body you're not attempting to get into the pose you're actually breathing and that gives you the length of the body so there's not any we're attempting not to use ambition we're attempting to trust the body's leverage to pull us into a pose so for example if we were doing Iyengar yoga which is very militant it's very strict and precise very precise very good for rehab um, they would say, they would give you all these cues, this back, this back, but this back, lean, extend, breathe, and it would be very, very specific. In Ashtanga Yoga, <clears throat> pardon me, it's more of use the, they, I would say this, press the foot into the thigh, that'll open your hip. Pull your thigh up, that'll square your hip. Now you've got a wonderful way to leverage out into this pose more deeply, which is what you get to do because you're spending more time with me talking. And the more time you spend, sometimes you can spend five minutes in a pose, the more you can change the deeper range of your hip. And the key, of course, is the breathing is deep. And on the exhale, you see if you can extend, not get down, but see if you can extend because then you'll get your back and that'll pull you off your hip and that'll pull you out of your back. So you're using the beautiful leverage. The poses are not stretches. <clears throat> Pardon me, so you're not attempting to get forward. You're attempting to use the pose to stretch and, and, and rotate you. So the, I have never found anything as, as uh, in enhancing of flexibility than yoga. Not dance training, not um, extreme um, force of a stretch from my coach, none of that. None of that brought me as far as practicing the breathing. It, I never would have believed it after being, you know, somebody that was very into fitness. Um, I, I couldn't get, what do you mean breathe and let go? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? So if you can use this pressure of now this foot against the thigh, that rotates the knee out. Maybe your knee is here. That's okay. You could take the foot out and press it down. And then you reach the heel out, you pull up from the thigh like you're pulling up a stocking on that quad. And that extension forward really allows you to get the low back longer. The breathing is key. The other is the drishti. It's a focal point. Now we're breaking it because you're looking at the monitor to see the pose. But the drishti is where you look just beyond the tip of the nose. In this pose, it's always the big toe. And that allows you to direct your spine. It's also really useful in class because then you're not looking at other people. One of my, one of the guys in class used to always get in trouble. He was always looking at all the girls. My teacher would go, drishti, drishti. <laughs> and then he can breathe in and come back up. Now we'll take that left leg to the outside and you want to pull the heel in really snug. So we're spending a little bit more time on the side of the body today. So the toes come back and then you lift and you lengthen off the side, just like in triangle. And you've got this nicely pinned low back. Now lengthen and extend and turn the shoulder back as you lengthen and reach. Your hand can go anywhere. I've got the elbow pinned in to get a little bit of lift on that side of the waist. So remembering in yoga, you're always working like this. Every single vector of, of tissue is stretching. So you're not dropped on the side. You're still reaching the crown of the head out. That's the big, big length that occurs in all limbs, in all asanas. And then we can breathe in, come on back up. Now, just um, fold this forward and let your head go. And keep your uh, left heel reaching out so you're nice and active there. Great. And then you can breathe in. Draw back up. Now, we'll take this uh, left heel in. Pull into the perineum, press the left heel out, come on tall, and then reaching this heel out, lift and lengthen and extend. Come right out from your side waist, pulling the toes back as you lengthen. Oh, and again, sorry, you can have the elbow in, 
either way, whichever feels natural to get yourself to lift high rather than round in the underside waist and keep the length out. Now I think what you'll find with the practice is eventually you might listen to me a lot less and that's my wish is you'll just do enough to know what to do enough listening and then the rest is you tuning in and then your body is directing you your breath is literally filling you like wind in the sails of your sailboat it's incredible feeling now come on down and just let your whole upper body go for a minute and then draw your knees into your chest great now we're going to uh, roll up and down so i want you to pull the knees in really snug and build some momentum like this. You can tuck your chin, roll back, and then you can roll all the way up. And we're going to do that two more times. So breathing in, exhale, come up, lift, and back. Roll, exhale, and lift. And now grabbing behind the knees to come into little boat and let the arms extend forward. Keep the legs reaching out. Of course, you can have the knees bent as well. Keep the shoulders back in either version. Keep your lift from your low back as you pull up from your core and keep your chin back and breath. Breath, breath. Okay, good. Now roll back and we're gonna cross the left ankle in front. So just one little boat today. You get nice and easy. <laughs> now cross the left ankle over and you wanna pull the ankles across and let the elbows bend to the outside and pull so you get a great stretch in through the sacrum and then switching feet take that right leg on top great get a good pull in stay with that pull in a little further breath and then you can uncross the ankles and now please just draw the knees into the body Doing a little rock, coming side to side. And then let your left heel drop. Pull the right knee in. And then bring that right knee across. Take the left hand on the outside. Gaze to your right, opening your chest and shoulder. And then you can breathe in, draw all the way back up. Pull that right knee in. Good. And then release the right leg. Go draw your left leg up, pull in nice and tight. And then pull that left knee across to the right. Take the left hand on the outside, take the left arm out. Opening through the chest and shoulder. One more full breath. Excellent. And then you can breathe in. Keep that left knee out. Pull the right leg in. Take the heels to the ceiling and grab onto the low legs or the feet. Happy baby, the knees wide and let your elbows bend to the outside. Great. Do a little rock. Now to hold on behind the knees, extend the legs up and just really get a good reach through the backs of the legs, the toes pulling back, especially pull back from the baby toe side. Pull the core in strongly as you reach the heels out and keep the toes pulling back strongly. Okay, great. Now just take the hands behind the head and we're not going for core here, but I want you to go more for, um, the core is contracting, but I want you to go more for pulling the toes back and reaching the heels up and the heels over in a very short plow position. And you're tucking your chin to round the spine. And as you breathe in and out, you're creating some pressure in the um, visceral tissue and you're pressing the low abdominals down. And stay with that, breathing in and out and keep the heels reaching. 
as you pull the core in and breath. And then you can gently lower. And now let the heels come down, let the arms rest. Now let yourself go. And then you can keep your feet, just bring them a little wider to the outside edges of the mat. For a moment, let the tailbone settle and feel the space in between the shoulder blades dropped back so you're really open through your chest. Great, and now you can just bend the knees from side to side. And you're keeping the, the um, shoulders back completely. Now you can take the feet out wider, or sorry, out longer. So you're gonna step your heels out a little further. Great. And now do a pelvic tilt, press your feet into the floor and press your low back down into the floor. The upper body is doing nothing. You just get to get that compression through your low back. And then soften and get the back arcing into a natural arc to let the legs then straighten and release the legs right down to the floor. Let your body go. Good. So resting your body back, just feel the eyes rest back in the sockets as you let go. Notice if you can feel the, the body heavier against the floor. Let yourself go. Feel for any part of the knees that could release, opening the backs of the knees. And of course, what we're creating here is an inner order from all of the effects of the poses. You have stimulated the nerves, especially the central nervous system and the spinal column. And this spark is a way to enlist the nerves that will help the muscle fibers move with more alertness as you move into your morning. So one of my friends used to call this a bookend. He starts his day with yoga and meditation. He finishes his day with yoga and meditation. And these are his bookends. So do notice that what you've done for yourself is you've literally opened yourself to your day. What a beautiful way to begin. And then just feel really happy you took this time, your body's awake. You're tuning into places that hurt or places that feel more alive. You know your body better. Thank God we feel hurts, otherwise we just suddenly have something wrong. So be, really be grateful for all the sensations you get. I like to think of them as postcards from a friend. And then just take in a little deeper breath. And exhale. And again, a nice deep breath. And exhale. 
And now take the arms overhead and reach through the fingertips. Spread the fingers, pull back from the toes, reach the heels out, get nice and long. And then just take the arms out to the side, palms turned up, and let your head roll side to side. The chest is open. And then relaxing the head, you can bend your knees and just draw your knees um, right into your body. And from here, you're gonna just have the knees bent. And with the knees apart, do a little sway from side to side. Great. Now pull the knees in wide so you're hugging and stretch through the inner thighs. Let the elbows bend to the outside. Do a little pulse out. Stay with your breath. And then you can let your heels come down. Wonderful. And now gently roll over to your left side and you can draw right up to seated position. We're sitting and you can have the legs either in front or you can have the legs crossed. And just be here for a moment. Let your whole body settle. Feel your tall spine as we go into our pranayama practice. You can take your right hand and just closing the left nostril Breathe in through the right. Close the right nostril with your thumb. Let the breath swirl around inside. And then exhale through your left. Breathe in through the left. Close the left. Let the breath swirl around inside. And then exhale through the right. The breath retention energizes the cells. Breathe in through the right. Close the right. And exhale through the left. Body's tall. Breathe in through the left. Close the left. Body's tall. Keep the ribs lifted. Exhale through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close the right, body tall. And exhale through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close the left, stay tall, rising from the ribs. And exhale through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close the right. And exhale through the left. Once more, breathe in through the left. Close the left. And exhale through the right. Let the hand drop for a moment and tune into your body. and then you can gently draw your awareness back. When you're breathing in through the left nostril, you're um, activating the sympathetic, sorry, parasympathetic nervous system, relaxation side, as well as the right side of the brain um, hemisphere. So that is um, uh, a way to help if you needed to start to relax the body or go to sleep, you would breathe through your left nostril. So I've done this all throughout the last 10 years, I'd say. Um, I just close the right nostril, breathe through the left, breathe in and out from the left. And that will help to elicit the sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system. The other thing you can do is stand on your head. But I tend to do that one in public. Although I did do stand on my head before I went into exams, I found a corner. Um, but it is a really good way to help to relax the mind.
And then with your lovely relaxed mind, just tune into your intention that you'd like to set for today. Tune into how you would like to experience this day and give that intention a word. And then have the feeling tone of that intention inside, right in your belly. And then bringing your awareness back to this room. And we'll bring our hands together and bow in namaste. Namaste. Have a great day, you guys. Enjoy this gorgeous weather. I think it's going to be pristine throughout the whole weekend as well. And uh, so have a fantastic weekend. And um, I'll see you on um, Monday morning or tomorrow morning at 10. So um, have a great weekend.